unstoppable you. Today, we dive into a common challenge, focusing. In our fast-paced, distraction-filled world, maintaining focus can feel like trying to catch a butterfly with a net full of holes. It's elusive, fleeting, and often just out of reach. Imagine you're sitting at your desk working on a project. Your phone buzzes. It's a notification from your favorite social media app. Suddenly you're scrolling through photos, watching videos, and before you know it, an hour has passed. Sound familiar? That's because it's a universal struggle, not a personal failing. Let's take a moment to hear from some notable figures who have spoken about focus and distraction. Steve Jobs, the co-founder of Apple once said, People think focus means saying yes to the thing you've got to focus on, but that's not what it means at all. It means saying no to the hundred other good ideas that there are. This highlights the importance of selective attention in achieving true focus. On the other hand, we have the words of author and motivational speaker Simon Sinek, who said, Distraction is the enemy of vision. These two quotes encapsulate the challenge of focus in our modern world. We have a plethora of options at our fingertips, making it all too easy to become distracted and lose sight of our goals. It's important to remember that struggle with focus is not a sign of laziness or a lack of discipline. It's a response to the overwhelming amount of stimuli that we are exposed to every day. From the constant barrage of emails and messages to the never-ending stream of news and entertainment, our brains are in a constant state of overload. So, you see, the struggle to focus isn't just about you. It's a widespread challenge. But fear not, there are solutions. Stay tuned as we delve into the science behind focus and share practical tips to help you harness your attention and achieve your goals. Now that we've identified the problem, it's time to understand it. What's happening in our brains when we try to focus? Picture your mind as a bustling city with thoughts zipping around like cars on a highway. When we focus, it's like we're creating a dedicated lane for one particular thought or task, allowing it to cruise smoothly towards its destination. But just like in a real city, there are many factors that can disrupt this flow. One of these factors is stress. Imagine a sudden downpour in our metaphorical city. Visibility decreases, the roads get slippery, and our thought cars start to skid and swerve. Similarly, when we're stressed, our brain's ability to maintain that clear, dedicated lane for focused thought is compromised. Another factor is lack of sleep. Just as a tired driver struggles to stay in their lane, a sleep-deprived brain finds it hard to maintain focus. Research has shown that even a slight reduction in sleep can significantly impact our cognitive functions, including our ability to concentrate. Then there's the issue of multitasking. In our city analogy, this would be like trying to drive multiple cars down different lanes at the same time. Sounds impossible, right? Well, that's because it is. Our brains are not designed to focus on multiple complex tasks simultaneously. When we attempt to do so, we're not really multitasking. We're just rapidly switching our focus between tasks, which can be mentally exhausting and actually reduce our overall productivity. So, what's the takeaway here? Well, just as a city planner might work to reduce traffic, improve road conditions, and enforce driving regulations, we can take steps to manage our stress, ensure we're getting enough sleep, and avoid excessive multitasking. Understanding how our brain functions is the first step towards improving our focus. It's not about working harder but smarter. Armed with understanding, we can now explore practical ways to improve our focus. Let's dive right into it. One of the most effective tactics is mindfulness. Practicing mindfulness helps us stay in the present moment, keeping our minds from wandering off. Think of it like this. It's training your mind to stay in the gym, instead of running off to the pizza place next door. A renowned writer, Mark Twain, once said, The secret of getting ahead is getting started. And mindfulness is a great place to start. Next, let's talk about diet. You've probably heard the saying, you are what you eat. Well, it's true. The food you consume can directly affect your ability to focus. Eating a healthy diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains can give your brain the fuel it needs to stay sharp. And what about sleep? We all know that feeling of trying to focus after a night of poor sleep. It's like trying to see through a fog. Adequate sleep is crucial for maintaining focus and clarity. Try to aim for seven to nine hours of sleep each night. It's not just quantity but also quality that matters. Exercise too plays a vital role in boosting focus. Engaging in regular physical activity gets the blood flowing and the heart pumping, which can help clear the mind and increase your ability to concentrate. Remember, these strategies aren't just theories. They've been proven to work in real life. Take the story of Sarah, a software engineer. Struggling with focus, she decided to make some changes. She started practicing mindfulness, adjusted her diet, 
prioritize sleep and incorporated regular exercise into her routine. The result? Not only did her focus improve, but she felt healthier and more energetic. As you can see, there's no one-size-fits-all solution. It's about finding what works best for you. Take the time to experiment with these techniques and see which ones resonate with you. Remember, the journey to better focus is a marathon, not a sprint. So, be patient with yourself and celebrate the small victories along the way. If you've come this far watching this video, great job. You have better focus already than most people. Remember, it's okay to struggle with focus. It's a common challenge we all face in our daily lives, whether it's at work, school, or even during our leisure time. It's not a sign of weakness but rather a human trait we can work on improving. Improvement doesn't happen overnight. It takes time, patience, and a whole lot of consistency. Every small step you take towards better focus is a victory in itself. Don't be too hard on yourself if you stumble along the way. After all, we learn more from our failures than our successes. So keep striving, keep experimenting with different strategies and find out what works best for you. Remember, you are capable of achieving great focus. Believe in your potential. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more valuable tips and tricks.